nothing. It's just like, why? Why do you find this interesting? They have, they're have they so one-dimensional, it hurts. Yeah, the chaos is supposed to be the big bad. The problem is, like I said, they don't have any nuance because after they corrupt someone, that person kind of loses their nuance. Yeah, and then there's Erebus, and everyone hates Erebus for every freaking right reason in the world. Yeah. Oh, the so... problem is we haven't seen Erebus forever because no one wants to write for him because he's such trash. Yeah. Fable. It's time for you to learn yeah. about the Imperial Laws. Oh, well, that sounds boring. Yes. Uh, Fine, I'll do it for Rogaldorn. <laughs> the and only him. Are you frightened? No. Mm -hmm. You may not be aware, but I am a skeleton. Skeleton. <laughs> you are supposed Can't to be that. frightened. Skeletons yeah. do not frighten me, father. Never have I heard a more disingenuous lie, maybe <laughs> even worse coming from you. It is no lie. Three percent of my body is already not but skeleton. Skeletons oh. are the most agitating frameworks known Wait, to me. Wait, why only three percent? That would be the Imperial... Uh, he is very old, so who knows? Seems ...legal framework. Please do not tell me the Lex Imperialis has been fucked up. Reproductive organs have not been used to push our Imperial laws out the proverbial window, father. I wish for the day to come when this pain ends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, Rogaldorn is very literal, Mori, like Drax. Uh, oh my god. You, you, you can't use metaphors with him. According to multiple passages in the Book of Judgment, you just broke 357 different laws within the span of those 11 words. So oh. what you are telling me is that the humongous bureaucratic blisters upon this once fine imperial musculature has managed to ruin my entire poor sweet dictatis imperialis through a case yeah. of galactic myotonic dystrophy? Yes! <laughs> That's the best way to describe it, yes. <laughs> Define ruin. I am not going to define shit yet, bent, drop dead, pape, not fuck off. According to approximately 511 passages in oh the boy. Book of Judgment, refraining from defining words to Imperials of high political stature is punishable by a five-day death sentence in a phosphex bath. Well then. As well as a summary kick to the jaw. By terms <laughs> Titanic did Mills, I have never written such laws. Where did they come from? Since the 31st millennium, Here, the Book of Judgment has continuously expanded. Yes, the High Lords of Terror have been so writing laws, even though the Emperor is still, you know. Lex Imperialis, with the adding of new laws every single day. <laughs> oh goodness, no. Yes. What is the current growth rate? Approximately 100 new volumes are added to its number for every day that passes. Dear God! Forced by the Adeptus Ar yeah. Hobbities, who it, serve as judge. Arbides. Yes, the Adeptus Arbides. Uh, they actually have some of a cool design, but most of them are Basically, more they're just all Judge Dread, jury, and executioner. Which is bad. Here is my outdated copy of the Book of Judgment. I sometimes use it as a support beam. Oh my god, so much! Yes, he sometimes uses it as a support beam, Fable. Oh my god. Was high voltage really? This is utterly unacceptable. Yes. Quickly, Rogel. Make it illegal to make new laws. Time is of the fucking essence, Rogel. Go, 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 I am dope. Hey, do you high boys remember that one time when the clown goblins and the Imperial Palace? That is an actual thing that happened. Clown goblins? I think he's referring to the Harlequins. Oh. Yeah, no, I can say it. I can definitely say it if you refer to them like that. For those of you who don't know, Mori, at one point, I don't know how, but Harlequins, who are they're a part of the Eldari race, which are space elves, invaded the Imperial Palace yeah. and just to deliver a single horn to the, imp to the Emperor... To show that Vulcan one time had a conversation with them and trusted them. Oh my god. Yes, yes, the problem with that story is the Harlequins were killing custodians left and right, and it made a lot of fans angry because the custodians aren't supposed to be taken out like trash. But yeah. it takes at the same time, the writer had to go on, uh, like, had to make an official note saying that they didn't under fully understand what the custodians were. 
So it was poor planning on everyone's part. Basically, oh my god. Basically, poor yeah. Writing. Yeah, basically the best way to describe a custodies, Amori, is it, you know how we have space marines? Yeah. The custodies are space marines of space marines if space marines are like the, the best of humans. Basically, uh, the, the... what custody equals a thousand space marines? Yeah, if a, if a space marine is the... I've like, If a space marine is a natural enemy of anything that the Imperium fears, then the then basically the Custodes are the natural predators of the Space Marines. That's literally how they referred to themselves at one point. And it's just like, guys, I get it, but stop that. You're supposed to be working together. You're not supposed to be hunting each other. That's really stupid. <laughs> I mean, I, I understand if I understand if they go traitor for the bad reasons, sure. But stop thinking you're better than them because you basically want to hunt people. That's really incredibly stupid. <laughs> yeah. I hate it. Yeah, let's learn about Cal Spire. Really I'm stupid. <laughs> I am the lawn, Fable. You're the lawn. Oh. Yes, we must ban clown goblins. <laughs> I am Overdoor. <laughs> I came here to inform you youngsters that making new laws is now illegal, per my father's wishes. That laws. is all. That's my favorite thing! <laughs> well, well, fucks. I guess clown goblins are illegal after all. <laughs> Fuck you, Magnus! <laughs> Magnus! <laughs> it's not even Magnus' fault this time! That's saying something. But yes, now we can't. Now, unfortunately, Mori, we can't play ban clown goblins. Oh, oh my god. god! So dumb. That was probably Inst the only good law they were going to make. Violation of new imperial laws right. has now been illegalized, Father. Good. I lightly skimmed through this abomination of illegal doctrine. It's claim that this entire code is my spoken word is about as ludicrous as an orc with a lexicon. If I was yeah. forced to write down every single word written in this book, I would have had to postpone the Great Crusade by several millennia. This is true. Also, what is the material this book is made out of? Human skin. Ew! Fucking EW. It takes time ew. is understandable. Even larger would be the what volumes the containing prior... I don't, I don't know. Of unsolved litigations. Oh my God. If the arbiters are for whatever reason not legally able to smash the accused head in on the spot, it can take millennia for the judges to reach a conclusion for a case due to the True. contradictory nature of the Book of Judgment. Since all but civilians and workers are under the grasp of imperial jurisdiction, would said cases not run out into the sand due to the fact that humans usually die before reaching a thousand years of age? No. Oh. Why the fuck not? Judges will spend all their time scrutinizing a case only for them and the accused to eventually die. When this happens, the what? case is immediately passed on to their successors. And after several generations has passed, the case will reach a conclusion and a ruling is made. Justice being dispensed onto the distant descendants of the original transgressor. Why? Massive ways <laughs> perfectly good time, wives, and parchment. How Why? is anyone supposed to follow a law? That is too incomprehensible for even a judge to follow. It is impossible, father. Usually when I say that, I get a poorly constructed counter-argument that I can then thoroughly and violently debunk. The Adeptus Arbiters wear buckets on their head. <laughs> Have you noticed this? Yes. It is funny <laughs> to me. Having fun is illegal in this Imperium. This is true. <laughs> Shrieky skeleton. That was fun. <laughs> oh my lord. Yeah. That's so stupid. The laws of the Imperium are so crazy and outborn that we don't really, uh. Yeah. It, yeah. The Adeptus Arbites are also a little crazy, <laughs> but at least they keep the peace. For the most part. I, I feel like. I feel like if you are um, born in the Imperium, that's already illegal. Well, yes, you have to go through several documents in order to get born, Fable. 
That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> exactly. Everything's <laughs> illegal. Yeah, everything's illegal. It's really stupid. How is it illegal? So, so going to the bathroom is illegal. Probably. I, I don't know the rules. <laughs> the laws are weird. Anyway, while I'm eating this Slim Jim, thank you all so much, and we'll see you guys next time.